G'day. Today we're doing a bit of work on a Mazda MX-5 Miata 2010 2 litre. We're doing a transmission service on it. Now while we've got it up, good idea to check for any oil leaks you may have or anything out of the ordinary. They are very, fairly low running cars so you'd expect the odd scrape underneath. All looks good. No oil leaks. Looks pretty pretty tidy. And these have the the A760 series transmissions in them, the six speed. Now if you have a look, they've got looks like two drain plugs. This one here has actually got a little tube in there. That's where you measure the fluid level and this one we can drain the oil out. On these you can also fill them up up here with this plug out and when that transmission fluid is at a specific temperature you fill it up here until you see it overflowing over that little tube you'll see in a moment when we get the pan off and the motor has to be running. 14mm single hex socket Now over here we've got the pressure control valve and what we can do is actually just, you'll see that there are three little points there, there's a low point, medium point and a high point. If you're pushing it in that way it'll boost the tension on the spring and just boost the pressure in the transmission a little bit. When you're doing that just make sure you support that little pin above it, you'll see right up there support that little pin otherwise you can lose it as you're pushing that in just support it with a screwdriver and you can rotate this around and we'll put it on that one there so it pushes the spring in a little bit the filter good idea to clean it or uh, replace it ideally if it's done a few k's what happens the constant sucking action of the the mesh sometimes they can develop a little tear here over the other side, if you have a look up here, there's a speed sensor. They also attract a little bit of metallic uh, debris, so it's a good idea to just clean around there, pop it out, and just clean that sensor as well. Just makes everything operate a little bit nicer. And it's also a good idea that the electrical plug there, just whiz it off. Even if you take it off and on a couple of times, it'll improve the connection through the, through the terminals. Ideally, you'd spray a bit of WD-40 or CRC or something like that in there as well. The pan, you can see it's fairly clean. There is a bit of fuzz on the magnets. You don't want that stuff sticking to your solenoids. That's the whole point of having the magnets in the pan there. Otherwise that can inhibit the operation of the solenoids and we'll probably add a neodymium magnet to this pan as well. Over here you can see the little fluid level tube that I was talking about. You've got to have it to a certain temperature and the oil's got to be overflowing over that tube with the motor running. Yeah, hang on. Just make sure you've got the O-ring there. And Mazda call these transmissions the SJ6AEL. Speed sensor. Just wriggle it left and right. And just have a peek. Is there any muck on it? Not really. Just blow that out, that little sensor. And we just support the little pin, push that in, support the pin and just rotate it like that. There we go. And that's on the highest point, 
pushing the spring as far as we can that way. You can put it up on here as well and it'll, it'll just be on the maximum it can actually press in if you can see that step there. We've got clean pan, clean magnets we put them up on these little ridges just to try and get the the magnet working top and bottom neodymium magnet and we've also put in a platinum lube guard in there just adds the goodies to the uh, transmission fluid boosted the pressure valve checked all the terminals they're not going to be rubbing on the pan the correct filter the SJ one not the A760 you can also use the A960 pan gaskets on these on the SJs I think they're the same now make sure you put all the bolts in before you start to tighten it up or you'll get a misalignment of the uh, the holes on the gasket sometimes especially if they haven't been stored properly so five mil allen key will loosen this just have it loose you can leave it on there for now we're going to fill it up here on the fill plug 24 mil and we'll put about four liters in start it up go through the gears and then we've got to get it up to between 57.5 to 62.5 degrees Celsius and the oil should be just trickling just a thin stream coming out here we're using the full synthetic Tritec transmission fluid foot hard on the brake trickling out of there now there will be a little bit in the tube we've got to just add a little bit and on the MX-5s the temperature has to be specific 57.5 to 62.5 degrees there we go it's just coming out there now too big a stream though he pumped a bit too much in there just want a thin stream get ready on this a little bit thinner than that probably half half that you can see it's just sort of starting to to drop now that's probably about right there don't forget to tighten everything make sure all the plugs are all clean as well of oil otherwise you may think you've got a leak all the electrical plugs make sure they're all back on anyway I hope that's helped don't forget to uh, like and subscribe leave any comments or suggestions in the section below and throw us a beer much appreciated Kate keeps us motivated the links in the description there thank you for watching